This is losing it through hacking. And how does that happen? Uh, I know people, especially in California, a lot of strange people in California, that have $100,000 or more on their smartphone, wherever my smartphone is. I know I have one. Anyway, $100,000 on a smartphone. And they say, well, I'm, I'm using, I'm using uh, the Mycelium wallet, and it's secure. I would, it's secure? Give me your phone number, and in five minutes, I will have all of your bitcoins. Now, you think that's, that's bragging. It is not. How do you do it? There are at least 100 million telephones in this world that have spyware on it, including key loggers. How do you get that? Has anybody ever visited a porn site? None of the people here, good. But those outside who have, I promise you, I don't care which one you visited, you have a keylogger on your, on your phone. How? If it's an Android, the first thing that happens is when you, when you first do a, a drive-by of the site, it sets the download authorized applications flag on your phone. The first click, if you happen to see something that might be interested, I think I'd like to watch that, you now have the spyware on your phone. You all do if you've been there. Now, who's watching? I have no clue. Janice, is there any water anywhere? Oh, never mind, it's here. Sorry. Who's watching? I have no clue, but neither do you. But whoever it is, it's not anyone who has your best interest at heart. And what can you do with that spyware? Well, not just the key loggers, but also screen capture. So what can you do? Let's assume you've got the spyware, <coughs> and you have a whole group of, of hackers somewhere. In Russia, the Ukraine, China, Kansas City, I have no clue, but they're somewhere. And um, they're monitoring all of these tens of millions of, of, of phones. And suddenly, you're into bitcoins, and you download the Mycelium wallet, or some other wallet. Well, what's the first thing that happens? What are your seed keys? Where is it displayed? Now, let's forget about encryption. Let's forget about how secure everybody says these wallets are. To get your seed keys, you have to read them from a screen, do you not? Where is that screen? It's on your phone. Where has that phone been? Maybe to a porn site. All right, so now, you have an infected device, and someone is watching, and they have a piece of software in their keylogger that says, wait for anybody downloading any one of these 25 wallets. As soon as that happens, get ready. As soon as you run it, it'll say, the first screen that comes up will say, do you want your seed keys? Yes, no, whatever. As soon as that click happens, the very next screen is captured. Those are your keys. I now have your keys, if it's me. I'm not saying it's not me, or it is me, but uh, whoever it is has your seed keys. What does that give them the power to do? Pardon? Take all of your money. All they have to do is go, yep, I lost my wallet. Here's my seed keys. Will you do it? Oh, good Lord, I have 100 bitcoins. I forgot that. I want them all now. In fact, convert them to my Ethereum account immediately. And I'm going to convert that to something else. And pretty soon, you can't trace it. You will never find it. And you will never recover it. Now, has that been happening? I don't know. If it hasn't, I would certainly be surprised. But I promise you this, just like a massive hack of, of an exchange or the Dow, there will come one day where simultaneously everybody's wallets is emptied. Now, then that will make the news. But by then what? It's too late. Because it's always too late when we find out about a hack. The Office of Personnel Management in America was hacked in 2015 by somebody who took the records of 23 million employees of every employee of the U.S. government for the past 50 years, including all of our top secret cleared employees. That hack began in 2013. It was discovered in 2015. This is the problem. And so, why am I even into the Bitcoin arena? Number one, because I see where, where alt currencies are going. Cryptocurrencies are here to stay. They will not go away. It is Pandora's box, for good or ill. 
you will not shove this back in the box. It does not matter what governments want to do. And we all know what they want to do, number one, is collect taxes. Well, that's really hard in the Bitcoin arena, isn't it? Very difficult to do. And in some other currencies, even more difficult. But governments will have to bite the bullet eventually because you cannot suppress it. It is like trying to suppress drinking alcohol. No matter how illegal you want to make it, people will drink alcohol or smoke weed or whatever it is they want to do. And now that the box has been opened and we are using it, it will not go away. So it's here. It's here to stay. And I know that. And I see that it will become, if not Bitcoin, it will be some alt currency that will become the standard for the world at some point. And I believe that will be at some point in the near future. In its current state, we will have chaos, absolute chaos. Not because we don't understand it or we can't understand the math or it's not adopted properly, no. Because there is no security whatsoever.